Bob Gravely, good to see you today. Thanks for having me, Teddy. Yeah. So Bob's with Growth 10. Bob contacted me just to get some quick ideas on his LinkedIn profile. Some ideas that can help his LinkedIn profile rank better and be more informative. There's the word of the day, informative to his target audience and his potential clients. So, so Bob, thanks for reaching out to me. Um, let me share my screen and we'll talk about your profile for a minute. So, so I like your headline, um, you know, helping passionate, engaged owners, leading growth focused companies. Um, I get this, you know, you're really positioning and, and um, uh, you know, creating a, an, an automatic funnel activity that if, if I'm not 10 plus and if I don't have or if I don't have 500K in business, then I'm, you may not be who I need or who can help me. Um, so if, if, if this is really minimizing the chatter from the wrong audience, then maybe leave it in there. If it's not minimizing the chatter from the wrong audience, you may be able to use this space more appropriately because this is the number one most important field on LinkedIn keyword rich, highly indexed, and you want to make sure it's deliberately focused to your target audience. So just a thought yeah, is that- understood. And I've had a couple of people come back and say, hey, I don't meet these criteria, but I'm really interested. I'm really trying to do this. I'm really, really trying to do that. So there's other options for me to work with them. Yeah. Those who are, that's who I'm looking for. I get you. I get you. So- um, so yeah, you get two choices. You get either, either make that billboard stand out there and say, if you're not this, I don't want you, or you can use this field to very clearly say, this is what I do to create value for my target audience. Uh, I like you're using, um, the new, um, you know, um, creator mode. Um, the name just escaped me. Creator, I think it's the creator mode. Didn't that open yeah, that creator up? mode? Thank you. The, 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 that word creator slipped out of my head. So the what's important if you're going to do this is make sure all of your content, where relevant and appropriate, includes these keywords. Uh, all of your posts, as well as your articles, your videos, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, and even use these outside of LinkedIn. I'm starting to be very purposeful on my YouTube videos my Pinterest and my Instagram to use these, the, these hashtags where, where relevant appropriate. So, so let's, let's get into something a little, little more purposeful, a little more deliberate. Your about section. It looks like you probably have close to 2,600 characters here because you can only have 2,600 characters. So you want to make sure you're using as much as you can, but you also want to make sure you're using them as deliberately as you can couple things to think about. Number one, you only wrote two or 1.x lines. I recommend you use uh, 2.x lines, like 2.8 lines, nearly three lines full. Because by default, when I look at your LinkedIn profile, all I'm going to see is those two or three lines. So use those three lines up to three in your first paragraph. But a thought, Bob, would be to spin that message and tell your target audience what you do for them, how you create value for them, how you solve problems for them, how you move them to the next level, whatever the right words are. Instead of talking about you, tell them what you do for them. Then, you can expand upon that further. The next big section I see you did is you're talking all about who you are. And I would encourage you again to keep this messaging on your target audience, telling them what you can do for them. Maybe give examples of what you've done for them. Maybe simple little stories, each one being a little paragraph of its own. 
I mean, I, I see this often where, and I used to do this as well, where we try to vet ourselves. I just don't think we need to spend a lot of time vetting ourselves. Um, I think that if we are clearly speaking to our target audience, the context of who we are and what we do, we, we don't need to vet ourselves as much. And assumably, if you've done a good enough job, your recommendations will be your vetting. Because the more recommendations you add, where people talk about, oh my God, Bob saved my life. Oh my God, Bob turned my business around, et cetera, et cetera. This is where you're going to create the greatest vetting statements in your, in your recommendations. So reach out and ask for more recommendations yeah. and, you'll, and you'll, you'll get far greater value. Because by the way, these are also indexed. LinkedIn indexes um, these. I'm not telling you how highly they rank the index, but they are searched in, in the ranking. So back to your about section, really speak more about maybe move this what I do. You have it in here as, you know, value I bring. Maybe make this about what I do. Move that up further and expand that out. And not just value I bring, but what I do, how I've solved. I worked with, a, you know, an, an uh, ice cream uh, cookie company and helped them do this to get this. And I, I helped this dust bunny organization understand their dust bunny clients in a much deeper way. So they were able to improve their pipeline and improve their lead gen uh, to be able to grow their business, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, take some examples. Uh, and there's the who I help part. So these, this, these words up here, you could put that down into the who I help part and should free that up. And one more big one I have is this is the number two most important field in LinkedIn. It's called your title field in your experience section. I'm absolutely not a proponent of putting your HR assigned title in there. What I, in which you didn't, but what I am most adamant about is again, keyword rich, focused on your target audience. Maybe hang certified practice manager off at the end of the, I think it's 120 characters, either 100 or 120. But you're, you, uh, you, you cluttered up as I clicked on something I didn't want to click on. You, you really, I would recommend you take this stuff and get rid of it. You move that up to the about section. That's just a yeah it's in your about section but uh if um another thought would be to put your calendly link in here instead of this don't don't tell me we can arrange a 15 minutes just say hey go ahead and do it now here's my calendly link and then you don't you don't even have to publish your phone number at that point unless you want to so the big question would be how many times do you get a phone call from somebody on linkedin and when they call you and you say, hey, how'd you find my phone number? And they said, which by the way, I ask that question all the time. And they say, oh, it was in your LinkedIn profile. It doesn't always happen. More it happens less likely than we would like. But um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think the, the Calendly is taking over with all the change. So people are changing their what they're looking for and how to connect with people. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, you could, you know, um, is this a Calendly link? That's a bit.ly link to my Calendly link. Yeah, so it's a Calendly a hidden behind bit.ly. I don't hide mine. I let you see up front as Calendly. And more importantly, I let you see up front it's a 15-minute, a 30-minute, or a one-hour. So you, you have the expectations right there in the link. So it's up to you how you want to do it. If you're using bit.ly to measure how many people click on it, uh, that, that may be important to you as well. But okay. so those are just a couple things that I would recommend. Um, you know, you've got some quotes here in, in your experience section. Again, you could take this 2,000 characters and, and lead with some statements that say, why joining your Growth 10 tribe, how I can help you, how others have gotten value from it, how others have grown their business because they became a part of it. Um, because that's what people are looking for. I mean, they're looking for the answer man. 
They're looking for the dude who can solve the problem. So why don't you give that to them as quickly as you can? Yeah. So those are just a couple of big things I'd recommend. Um, you know, make sure your skills are the most focused on your target audience. You know, make sure that these are not just here because they're the number one, the highest indoors, in, which they are. They're only there because they have the greatest number of endorsements. But maybe there's a skill down here that is far more important than these. So shuffle them and pin the three on the top that are the most important to you and to your target audience. Bob, those would be my high level recommendations for you. Those are awesome, Teddy. Really great insight. It's yeah. moving target. So you're never sure where you're at. And it, I know we're going to keep on moving on. So I appreciate there's no leadership here. I appreciate your great insight. And uh, I'll be making those changes back time we got home. But uh, I appreciate your time. It's been really helpful. I do appreciate it. And I'll right. share your information with my network for sure. Bob, you have an absolutely fantastic week. Thanks a bunch.